evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to coming tonight. Uh, this is presentation uh, three, topic number three. Upgrading um, to existing churches, new church, other facilities. Um, so our context for this uh, presentation tonight is really topics one and two. Um, parish demographics, uh, trends, finances, larger tradition of the church uh, with respect to liturgy and purpose and use of church buildings. So really the context of those first two, the first two topics. Um, but then there's also the additional topic of uh, context which is found in uh, scripture uh, from the Gospel of Matthew here. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. And so we're just reminded here that, uh, again, this is context and again topics one and two are the context that uh, our church buildings uh, any church building uh, serve as a help to, um, to the work that God is doing and so in considering the questions you know whether or not to upgrade or to build new or whatever the uh, larger mission of, of Christ uh, has to be considered considered uh, what will be most beneficial to uh, his mission and I know that that can be kind of an, an esoteric question to ask, but that's um, ultimately the question we're looking at. What, what will help the mission of Christ and the church? And so let's pray this together. Lord Jesus, as we gather, help us to do so in your name, so that we can be inspired by your wisdom, your prudence, in order to bring the gospel there in our lives and in this part of the world. Help us to be co-workers in your opinion, working quietly and diligently, with joy and fidelity in the We ask this in your name, Lord Jesus, who lived and prayed for the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, in looking at the upgrades to existing churches, um, we uh, put them into two categories. One is under the category of structure and utilities, and that's basically the building itself. Um, and then the second category is uh, liturgical and cosmetic. So, um, so a structure and utilities, uh, the, the content, the, the list that we're going to look at, that comes um, primarily from uh, property assessment reports completed last May um, by Shamrock Building Inspection out of Heartland. The inspector spent about three hours at each place, um, and he was just allowed to kind of roam and, uh, and see what he saw. Okay, so he was unaccompanied. And then the the liturgical and cosmetic upgrades uh, are more obviously more subjective. Um, but they're geared toward maintaining and highlighting the architecture of the churches. Um, and then also while well, highlighting that uh, liturgical and artistic tradition that we uh, heard about in the last session in, in topic two. And then we're going to look at the costs as well. The costs are all approximate. Um, but the, the approximate cost for the structures and utilities upgrades, they come uh, from a blend. Um, a lot come from the inspector himself and just kind of the range that he gave us and the prices that, that are here are the upper end of the range. Okay. Um, but then also conversations with tradesmen and then also just internet research into price ranges. Okay, so they're, they're educated. 
approximation. approximation. <laughs> I was trying to find a nice way to say guesstimate. <laughs> the educated approximation. Uh, and then the approximate cost of the Venturi Clinic cosmetic upgrades uh, also come from the blend. Uh, again, conversations with tradesmen, uh, seeing what other parishes have done, and then again, internet research. Okay. So, everybody's okay so far? Yep. All right. So, I just want to give you a background of where all this is coming from. So, we'll just start with us, Heaton. <clears throat> and I just have some pictures up here. It's, I'm sure you know most of what this is anyway. But uh, this is page two. So, these are, again, these are the structure and utilities upgrades. These come from the uh, inspector. Uh, he found that in the attic there weren't any collar ties um, in there, so we would want to put those in there. That's these things here. Okay. Um, they basically keep the walls from falling over, apparently. I'm not a, I'm not a builder, so if anyone wants to add anything to this. If Rick looks at me doubtfully. So. so, lateral bracing. Um, he had also mentioned about fixing uh, double circuit or double tap circuits um, where a breaker, well, you can see that. It should speak a thousand words. Um, uh, expose, uh, enclose the exposed wires in rigid conduit. Um, obviously, there's not exposed wires, but uh, flexible. Ventilation, uh, adding exhaust fans to the restrooms. And that would go for, I think, all three churches. Okay. So adding, adding exhaust fans in the restrooms. Um, at a Skeeton, we need to add that uh, septic system there. Okay. So that's going to be, uh, well, that's 25,000 ish. Um, and then there's a, the added thing because the kitchen is uh, in the basement, it needs to, there needs to be another element to it to, like, how, how would you describe that, Kay? What did, you, what did you call that? Another element for the electrical? Oh, uh, for the septic. Oh, yeah, because there, it's an upgrade. To get it out of the building, we would need a lift. A lift, that's the one. Yeah. So. Um, he had mentioned about the uh, ceiling tiles in there. He was just concerned about um, their security up there. So he had uh, talked about replacing those, uh, reclocking the windows. Um, Replacing the front steps, um, basically just replacing it. Um, replacing the existing parking lots, replacing, uh, and then of course we would want to expand that and kind of and, um, kind of tinker with that. So parking lot, uh, and then also grading improvements so that uh, we have the uh, water shedding away from the building. Uh, and then some roof repairs over the sacristies. Adding insulation to the attic, and then uh, I put this little frame of <laughs> It was either this or a pile of bad <laughs> So anyway, so uh, removal of that from the attic. So, uh, so, uh, so the figure we had there was 101,000 plus um, for SK for structure and utilities upgrades. Okay. Uh, for Greenleaf, we had we had adding a parge coat to the northwest corner foundation, um, and as far as I understand, it's another coating of masonry over the masonry to kind of uh, what add integrity again to keep it from flaking because where it's exposed like that, the cement is flaking and turning into sand, and then it leaks through there, and the parge coat helps protect that from happening. So doing a parge coat, and it's just the one corner. Um, it also mentioned again about the double tap circuits. Um, replacing the knob and tube wiring, this would also go for here at Wrightstown. Um, my understanding is that it's, it, the issue is more so the age of the materials. In particular, the rubber, which just because it was natural rubber, I'm guessing, right? Which breaks down over time, so um, it's more just a the, the age of the system. So uh, that would have to be replaced. Um, and then also the, the the units, the AC units. Um, oh, by the way, these pictures are not necessarily of the church. These are just visual aids, so you don't have to look at me. 
Um, I'm sure you know what this is. There's a boiler. So replacing the boiler. Um, I don't think that's an immediate need, but in the next couple of years, I think. Right? For green leaf, For yeah. Green leaf, right. Uh, again, adding an exhaust fans to the restroom. Um, he also had about adding a hot water heater because we don't have hot water there. I think. Um, and I know you can get these, you know, tankless ones that are much more efficient. I don't. We don't need a whole, a whole ton of hot water there. No, but we should have it for the restrooms, just for sanit sanitary reasons. Um, just some other small things, replacing the toilet or <coughs> securing the toilet. You know, small but important. Um, Replacing the faucets, although I don't, I, anyway, to me they look to be 80s, but 80s-ish. 1880s? No, no, 1980s. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, and then also replacing the uh, rubber membrane on the, on the entrance roof. That's the, old, that's, that's the old entrance to the church, the flat part, the little parapet is. Um, so replacing that. And then also replacing the metal roof that's on the current uh, entrance. Okay. Uh, tech pointing brickwork, uh, and that would also be uh, here at Rice Town. Uh, possibly replacing some bricks. Uh, he mentioned about replacing window sashes on the uh, windows because some of them are rotted or heavily just you know with age. Uh, again, grading improvements to with uh, shedding away the water. Um, there are a couple of north, uh, windows on the north side, right in the in the entryway that was put on in the 1670s, I'm guessing. Um, so he was saying about replacing those. Um, again, replacing, the, repairing the parking lot, right, um, and then adding insulation above the sacristy, and then adding uh, attic ventilation as well. Okay. Uh, so for Greenleaf, that came to 113 plus. Okay. And then on to Wrightstown, he had mentioned some localized brick repair or replacement. Uh, and then also, again, the double tap circuits, uh, fixing that, replacing again the knob and tube wiring throughout the church. Uh, rewiring the large fixtures, the ceiling fixtures, because I think that the old clock wire. Yeah, clock it's brittle. Because yeah. um, they're supposed to be able to be lower, so you can change the bulbs, and they can't be. Just well, they can, but every time we do, more of the fabric from the wire just breaks away because it's so brittle now from the age of it. So we want to rewire those. Um, again, adding the exhaust fans to the restrooms here. Um, addressing mildew on the ceiling. Um, I wish I had a picture of it. I just don't have a picture of it. But, uh, it's there if you look. It's not all over the place. It's just just here and there. But, um, and they're rebuilding both of the sacristy staircases here. Um, if you look there, I mean obviously you can walk on them, but they're they're kind of tilted. Yeah. So we want to just go ahead and rebuild those. Um, again, some tech pointing. Uh, he had talked about brickwork on that side at grade level that was deteriorating because of its proximity to uh, I don't know, the ground, you know, leaves, snow, that kind of stuff. So. Uh, he talked about reclocking these stained glass windows or modifying the sills, uh, again replacing the parking lot. Um, and for this right here, just for, for price purposes, it's excluding the parking by the school. Okay, that's all. It's there, but in a, it's in the school section. Okay. Uh, also, again, grading improvements. Um, looking at the sidewalk out on the front of the church here, it looks a little uneven. Um, it could be a, perhaps a safety issue. And then also uh, adding some more insulation in the attic. So for uh, Rice Town, it was 94,000 plus. Everybody okay so far? Is that with or without the question marks? That is without the question marks. So, so the plus is necessary. Plus. The sidewalk repair should be handled by the village. That's what I thought too. They do all of the repairs on all the sidewalks, so that's not an issue for All right, so now we're on to the parish center in Greenleaf, our existing, the old St. Mary's School and then the offices. 
<coughs> um, the inspector noted uh, minor cracks in the foundation, and he recommended repairing those and then watching them, just kind of monitoring them. Um, he mentioned about electrical distribution equipment in repair, replacing the boiler. Um, there was another thing, removing all the asbestos around the pipes. Uh, replacing the, uh, the exhaust fan on the roof, and then also again adding ventilation to the restrooms. Um, he mentioned about uh, replacing all the galvanized pipe that's in the building for reasons of corrosion. Um, and again, I mean, replacing the bathroom fixtures. Uh, also, I can't remember, is that a flat roof? No, that's not a flat roof. That is a slightly fixed. Okay. So, um, but anyway, uh, replacing the rubber membrane, replacing the rotted, no, the whole roof deck is not rotted, but replacing parts of it that are rotted. Um, uh, replacing the asphalt shingle roof, uh, doing some work on the gutters, um, rebuilding the chimney, uh, removing the asbestos flooring throughout, which would also go for the school uh, here as well. <coughs> what else did he have here? That pointing the brick, he talked about re, uh, uh, um, recocking the expansion joints <coughs> in the masonry walls, um, replacing the windows. Bless you. Replacing the windows, uh, um, the whole, I know there are only four classrooms, but still it's all the windows. Um, you know, refinishing the woodwork, I guess that's more cosmetic. Um, but we're having water flow issues on the east side where it's coming down from the fields, uh, you know, obviously going out to the ditch, but it's taking dirt and sand and other things away from the foundation on the east side. So we're having some issues there. It's and like it, washing out underneath the foundation. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like washing away the foundation, actually. Um, okay, so the existing parish center was 131000 plus. Okay. And that's to do, again, those structural and utilities upgrades. And then over here at the existing St. Clair School, um, you notice cracks in the foundation wall, so repair those monitor, uh, bowing, up, bowing up the west foundation wall. Um, uh, there's the removal of the asbestos wrapping again in, in the pipes, around the pipes, uh, replacing that exhaust fan, exhaust fans on the, on the roof. Uh, again, there's the, uh, the galvanized pipe medium replacement. Um, some of the fixtures in the bathrooms don't work or they're kind of rickety or and or loose. Um, replacing again that rubber membrane on the, uh, on the entrance roof, the flat roof. Uh, again, removing the asbestos flooring, replacing the uh, ceiling tiles. Uh, uh, again, localized tuck pointing. Oh, there's my pipes. Let's wait for the pipes. Right there. Okay. Um, and then grading improvements, and then also upgrading the uh, the entryway as far as security goes. Okay. So for the existing St. Clair School, that was 104. Okay. So any are everybody okay so far? Again, this is from the inspector's report, um, with mainly his cost estimates there.